one of the best moments ever was when I was like 17 and Drake took a photo with me and captioned the photo with me Pickering God. It really, it really meant a lot to me and Pickering. What's up Vanity Fair? I'm Sean Mendez and I'm here to teach you, I'm gonna try to teach you some Pickering slang. Let's do it. Ajax. Ajax is a town very close to Pickering. My grandma and my aunt and my cousins live in Ajax. It's the newer version of Pickering. It's the little brother to Pickering, so. Yeah, Ajax is cool. I'm not from there, so I won't say it's better than Pickering, though. Mickey. I, th I thought that was a world thing. A Mickey is a flask-sized bottle of liquor. A Mickey of vodka, yeah. My mom's British, and she always said Mickey, so I always just thought it was her, but maybe it was her being Canadian. You get a Mickey, and then you can get a 2-6, which is the, the bigger bottle. 2-6 of Ciroc. I've been in the U.S. and I've been like, we should get a two-six of something, and that people have no, I've never, don't, I have no idea what I'm talking about. The GO train is basically the train that is that you can take from Pickering to downtown Toronto, if you want to go see a Leafs game, or you want to go see a Blue Jays game, or you want to go see Drake at the Scotia Bank Arena. It's whatever you choose. Famous players, famous players is the theater uh, in the Pickering Town Center. I don't even know if it's a famous players anymore. I think they turned it into something else, but famous players on Tuesday, you could go and watch a movie for like $4.99 when I was a kid, and that's what we did. Um, I think I, I might have had one of my first kisses in that famous players. Snowbirds is like somebody who goes to Florida for the winter. So like me, because I'm in Miami right now. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's a snowbird. So if you, if you just go to Canada and reap the benefits of summer and you leave during the winter, I don't know. I don't know if you can do that. I'm dying to get back home to that cold weather. If you're a loafter, I have a few loafter friends. My friend Brian is a huge loafter. It's like when you're trying to go do something and they're just like taking forever and they're like loafing around the place and they're like just like not sure what they want to do. They're trying to get things to bring. They don't know what they're doing. They're just loafing. They're just like taking their time. Too much time. Pioneer Village is a uh, school trip go to and I remember Pioneer Village because they f gave you bread and jam and <laughs> that's what I remember about Pioneer Village that I think you go in like fifth grade and they teach you about the pioneers and they teach you about the native and um, they give you bread and jam and it was a lovely experience I highly recommend it if you ever find yourself in Pickering beauty a beauty is like like, for instance, if <laughs> you do anything that is good for your boys, you, they'll call you a beauty. Like, <laughs> I don't know else how else to exactly explain that. But that guy's a beauty. It means that guy's such a good guy. He's just a beauty, you know? He's a good guy. What are you saying? Bro, what are you saying? Bro, what are you saying? I mean, I, my friends completely abandoned what's up probably 10 years ago. The only thing we ever say is, what are you saying? Or even... More so from just W-Y-S, what you saying? Which is like, what's going on? What are you doing? That's jokes. <laughs> it's so funny. That's jokes is basically exactly what that sounds like. That's hilarious. That's jokes. No way, that's jokes. <laughs> the saying that's jokes is pretty jokes. A beaver tail is the most famous um, Canadian pa like, uh, like pa pastry. You can get them in Ottawa. Um, and they can they sell them on the side of the road and it's like it looks like a beaver tail But it's just a pastry and you get like cinnamon and sugar put on it Darts darts are gross Darts are cigarettes if someone's smoking a dart in the backyard. They're smoking cigarettes in the backyard. I love being Canadian I love these words that we use guy yo guy guy is pretty much like the most common Used word I've ever heard in Pickering or just in Toronto and it's like the the way you just you call a guy that you you don't know you just say yo guy or i mean you, i mean my friends just my friends call me guy like what are you saying guy um and then my neighbor's name is actually spelt g-u-y and he and i asked and he texted me saying what's up it's it's guy and i thought he was kidding but it's actually pronounced gee um what's up gee if you ever watch this <laughs> the washroom is the bathroom um that's that's a weird one i went to america and i asked where the washroom was and people were pretty uh, confused by that although I don't understand why because it makes sense still that's what people say when you you tell them that you're from Pickering instead of saying Toronto 
And that's why I say Toronto, but that's why it's good to be bringing up Pickering. Durham Region Transit is, uh, I guess, like the public transit of Durham Region. And Durham Region is the mama bear of Pickering and Ajax. And yeah, Timmy's is another way of saying Tim Hortons, which is like, you want, you want, you want some Timmy's, bro? Although, I, I don't know if I ever asked my bros if they want Timmy's. Um, that's like something my mom would say. She would say, hey, do you want, I'm, going, I'm passing by Timmy's, you want some? And I always say yes. Tim's is a longtime old friend of all Canadians. Toque. A toque is basically what we call a winter hat, like a, like a beanie. I guess you, in America you guys call it beanies. Um, that's called a toque in Canada. Bear is basically like if, if there's, like if you're like, I don't know if we have enough food and, and then you're trying to reassure your friend that you have enough food, you go, bro, there's bear food. We're, we're good, we got bear food. Um, which means a lot of food. And my, that's used for basically every single we don't say a lot in Canada. Me and my friends, it's just bear. Scarberia. Way to say scar, bro. Scarberia. So a lot of people say scarbs, too. No one says you're from the bro, though. <laughs> if someone's like, who's mans? It's really when, like, you're, you're, like, if you're in, like, a public place and you, this guy, your friend is, like, being weird or doing something re uncomfortable or something, like, really obnoxious, Maybe you'd just be like, whose man's is this? Whose man's? And you kind of like, <laughs> you disassociate from being with that guy because he's being weird. It's kind of mean, but it's not meant in a mean way. It's like more endearing when someone says whose man's. It's funny, I think, to Canadians. Thank you so much, Vanity Fair. I hope I taught you some very important Pickering slang that you'll be able to use for the rest of your life if you go to Pickering. It's getting cold, so please put your toque on. <laughs>